Good morning, boys and girls. Today I'm going to do a read aloud for you called Erosion, Changing Earth's Surface by Robin Kuntz. The Forces of Change. A brick building on a street corner is crumbling away. A deep crack runs through the parking lot. Higher up, a building teeters on a muddy hillside. What caused the changes in the brick building, the parking lot, and the hillside? It was erosion. Erosion is the wearing away and reshaping of the land. The forces of erosion have been changing Earth's surface for millions of years. Fun fact, some erosion happens in seconds or minutes. Some happens over a year or two. Most erosion happens over hundreds or thousands of years. Dripping rain. Erosion can begin with a few drops of rain. The raindrops form a, a stream of water. The rainwater stream picks up dirt along the way. The stream gets bigger and races down the street. Be careful because sometimes water pools in the street. Sometimes the water grows deep quickly. Fun fact, sudden heavy rain causes flash floods. Fast flowing rainwater can be powerful enough to move houses and cars. Roaring rivers. The stream from the street joins with other streams and pours into lakes and rivers. The water picks up rocks along the way and the rocks grind along the bottom of the riverbed. The flowing water also washes dirt from the river, river banks. In these ways, rivers can cut deep gaps through the landscape. Rivers flow to the oceans and leave behind a lot of dirt. The dirt is made of sand, pebbles, soil, and rocks. It is full of good nutrients for growing plants. Fun fact, waterfalls can form when water flows over soft rock. The waterfall seems to move backward as it erodes or cuts away the rocks behind it. Crushing waves. Strong ocean waves crash against the shore. Ocean water slowly erodes soft rock and breaks chunks of the bottom of the cliff. The waves throw the loose material back against the shore. Eventually, the, cliff, the cliffs break apart from the crashing. The power of waves can erode about three feet from a cliff each year. But what, but what waves take away, they can wash back somewhere else. The eroded pieces from rocky cliffs can become a sandy beach not far away. Fun fact, a tsunami is a huge wave that can cause lots of erosion in one giant sweep. Frozen erosion. Water seeps into cracks between rocks. After the water freezes, the ice expands or gets bigger. The force of the ice is so strong that it can break up the rocks. Ice can crack streets and sidewalks in the same exact way. Glaciers are like giant rivers of ice. They form in high places and move downhill. As they travel, they pick up dirt and rocks. They are like bulldozers that carve away mountains. Glaciers leave deep valleys. As the ice melts, the loose dirt and rocks get dumped on the land. Fun fact. The fastest glacier known to scientists moves 131 feet per day. But most glaciers move only a few feet per day. Glaciers carve out U-shaped valleys. Rivers create V-shaped valleys. Carving caves. Drip, drip, drip. 
raindrops slipped past three roots and erode away soft rocks underground. Little cracks get bigger. Over a long period of time, raindrops can carve out large underground caves. Underground, raindrops pick up chemicals from the soil and soft rocks. They become a mixture of rainwater, acids, and material and, and minerals. Inside the caves, the chemicals create new rocks. The dripping drops make stalactites on the ceilings and stalagmites on the cave floor. Fun fact. The longest cave in the world is Mammoth Cave in Kentucky. It has more than 350 miles of passages. Whipping wind. Wind is the other force of erosion. And wind batters everything in its path. Wind can wear away buildings and carve away stone. Wind also has helped to do its work. Sand carried by the wind rubs against objects that the wind hits. Wind can form sand dunes and make sharp rocks smooth. Wind can also lift up soil and carry it away. Like rain, wind has a bigger effect on land with few plants. Fun fact, painters use strong blasts of air filled with sand to remove, to remove old paint and dirt from stone walls. This process is called sandblasting. Fast erosion. Erosion often takes thousands or millions of years to shape the land. Heavy rain and super high winds speed up erosion. Landslides and hurricanes can bury houses and damage cities in just moments. People can also ca cause fast erosion by removing nature's erosion protection. They can cut down trees for farming and cut away mountains for new roads. They stop rivers with dams and let cattle eat all of the grass. Not so fun fact. In the 1930s, U.S. farmers lost tons of soil to wind. There were no plants to keep the soil from blowing away. The sky turned black as winds carried away bits of soil. The eroded farmland was called the Dust Bowl. Living with erosion, people have learned ways to help stop the erosion they cause. Farmers plant trees to block the wind. The plant seeds in strips. They plant seeds in strips instead of plowing all the soil at once. They grow crops on hillsides in patterns so the rain won't wash away the soil. Ranchers are learning not to let their cattle and sheep eat all of the grass. Loggers are cutting down some trees and letting others stand. We can't stop all the causes of fast erosion, but we can do our best to slow it down. Fun fact, drains and sewers near buildings and roads let rainwater run away quickly and safely. Without them, there would be more erosion of gardens, yards, parks, and playing fields. The end.